Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's talk about Melody Cherie not being protected and essentially DJ Richie Sky taking down Mattel's video from his channel. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and everyone please like, share and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, let's get into it. So, you guys know in the past week, the court documents leaked um that portrayed mattel in a certain way talked about the various things that mattel has allegedly done to his children if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you watch it at the end of this video now dj richie sky did a reaction video where he was talking about it and he was reading the court document when i watched that video it was like he was present in the moment he was reading this his heart was broken about what he was reading right and he had very honest emotions right as he was reading that and so it was very surprising to then find out that he is taking the video down and so i was watching his channel earlier and i was surprised to hear that he said he got a call from mattel what it sounds like is as much as Mattel didn't tell him to take the video down, Mattel was basically telling him how he felt about DJ Richie Sky having that video and I guess impact on the children and the entire family, that sort of thing. Now, I have a lot of questions. Before I get into the questions, I want to talk about DJ Richie Sky actually removing the video. Now, if you guys watch DJ Richie Sky's channel, you'd know that he's one of those people that covered the news without saying too much. He basically sort of kind of sits on the fence a little bit. He's very um, neutral in the way he presents the content and his opinions generally. And so it was actually very interesting for me to see him react in the moment. Now, let's be clear. He was sad about it, but he was respectful throughout the entire video and was just doing it as a matter of fact, right? Reading the court documents as a matter of fact. So that's why I was so surprised that he decided to take the video down. And I just wondered if someone else had called you to say they don't like a video that you posted, would you have taken that down? what is that what is it about mattel calling you that made you want to take it down to begin with now it may be that he had good intentions and thoughts you know what this is about the children i don't even feel really good about having that in the algorithm let me pull it back but to say that mattel called you and then you volunteered to remove that video from your youtube channel is something that respectfully i don't think is the right decision now i like dj richie sky i followed him for a while he's one of the content creators that i listen to but i was actually disappointed that he took it down because i feel like mattel shouldn't be able to call you when he has exhibited the sort of behavior he has exhibited so far now where was the energy are you forgetting the thing about the revenge piece situation like let's think about everything holistically right he shouldn't be able to call you to tell you to take a video down and like where did he even get your number to begin with now dj richie sky did make it seem that mattel didn't ask him to take it down but he volunteered to take it down but my thing is when melody and when mattel has done and said all these things about melody that has been covered that are lies when has it ever been taken down when has there ever been protection from melody in that way nobody has instead people continue to post things that you know is obviously a lie and like i understand melody hasn't called anybody to take anything down or say she's upset about something but let's be honest we know she'll be upset about certain things right so if we're using that rule, are we going to start taking things down constantly when anyone reaches out to us? I just don't think that's fair. And in particular, I think someone like Mattel, like if, for instance, Mattel says, these things are lies and I have proof and then provides the proof. Guess what I would be saying? I would say, how about this? Do you want to come on the channel so we can do a video where you can refute this and provide the evidence that you do have? That is what you do, right? You've presented one side, now present the other side. 
I would have preferred that than taking the video down. So for me, noticing that he's taking the video down. Now, I'm going to emphasize this. This may not have been his intention, but it comes across as not taking a stand. You want to play on the fence, right? And you don't want to stand up for what is right. The problem with that is in doing so, you've actually taken the side of the oppressor in my opinion, right? It's like someone who is guilty of doing all these list of things that he has done, right? These are, I'm not even talking about things that we have no evidence of, things that we have evidence of, right? Okay. So things that he's confessed to with his own mouth, right? Those are the things we have evidence for, right? Now, if you compare that side and then we decide that, okay, we're going to listen to him and say, oh, let's take it out. And then the other part that really annoyed me was when he said that something about hopefully they can reach some sort of amicable thing. The only way they can reach an amicable agreement is if this man stops doing what he is doing. But the thing is, he hasn't stopped. He's still behaving in the way in which he is behaving. Like he went on Tasha K and did an expose. So what is the point now we're acting like these court documents he hasn't apparently exposed court documents before remember when he was on queen sheba's channel and then he was saying to her that i sent you documents or i asked my publicist to send you do documents those were the court documents so if he has been circulating court documents but then now that people are reading the parts that he doesn't want them being want them reading suddenly has a problem I just don't think that that should be okay. And like I said, his intentions may have not been to support Mattel, but in doing so, he's now being complacent in Mattel's behavior. It's coming across as enabling Mattel's bad behavior. I'll be honest about that. And when I read the comments, it looks like people were like lighting him as well. People were not happy with it. I'm going to read a few comments for you guys because I feel like that may express some of what you guys are thinking so someone says ivan subscribe to dj richie if he can't stand on his convictions concerning something so serious as abuse of children and the abuser mattel was able to convince him to protect him then he has nothing to say about anything that i want to hear another person says you did a great job reviewing the court court docs your reaction was genuine However, I feel sad for Mel and her kids because, as she said, she doesn't feel protected. And this is completely a really good point. Like I said, his reaction seemed genuine in that moment. And I sort of felt like it was even triggering for him. However, like this person said, it feels like Melody and the children are not being protected. Like, let's not forget that Melody apparently wanted the court documents to be sealed. But guess who didn't? apparently Mattel Holt. So it's like, let's say allegedly, right? Allegedly, right? Whatever the case may be, the court documents are not sealed. So it's pretty much circulating in public, essentially. Um, and that's also an example of not being protected. Now, everyone has the evidence. Everyone has the court records. Everyone knows what has happened. It shouldn't be so, in my opinion. Another person said, I understand what you're saying about Mattel, but people continue to cover up and make excuses for him. He needs help and taking down your video won't... I'm so sorry, guys. I think I did not screenshot that bit properly. Um, I'm going to move on to another person. It says, the toxicity in the love and marriage franchise is no coincidence. It is by design. Mattel is not held accountable by own Carlos, the Alabama court system, and now you. Wow. I have a tremendous amount of respect for you and you should absolutely run your channel as you see fit. I personally think sunlight is the best disinfectant for truth and accountability. I am disappointed that you dimmed the light on this truth. Your reaction was heartfelt and the people need to see a respected and loved black man show authentic love and concern for children. I agree. Another person said, Richie, your initial response to the court documents were genuine and deserve to stand as they happened. You didn't disparage anyone, but only showed your true feelings. I agree with that as well. 
Another person said, not taking a stand is taking a stand. Absolutely. Quit saying they should come to an agreement when it is him. You cannot negotiate with a narc. And now you have a whole book about black women that we're supposed to read. You don't protect black women, but you want to profit off them. Wow. Another person said, we need strong black, we need more strong black men to stand up for our black women and children. I agree. There are too many cowards and weak spines in the black community that occupy the black YouTube sector. None of the major content creators are covering the things Mattel is doing to Mel or the Eminem kids. And the one that is going out of her way to post lies to take down the video out of respect for Mattel because it wasn't out of respect for Mel or their children is a slap in our faces. Another person said, well, what about Mel? It's okay for him to put out a, Mel a smear campaign on her. Another person said, all Richie did was read a document to the viewers without siding with neither Mattel or Melody. Sorry, but we don't, don't want to hear how Mattel felt about what the court documents reported or his side of it. All he wanted to do was twist everything to his favor with the lies, with lies by reaching out to Richie. It's so sad Richie felt the need to take the video down after his followed up with Mattel. You can't please everyone. We're sure Richie took it down merely to avoid a confrontation with Mattel regarding his lies and negative energy. We know Carlos is a friend of Richie and he'll never go against him even though we know he sees what's going on with CK's reality shows. We just wish you, you'd have stood 10 toes down Richie on your true feelings beliefs instead of not wanting to say anything about CK's shows and cast. Mattel is an extremely flawed, jaded, vicious tw and twisted human being who should not be protected. Why would Mattel allow the world to see witness how crazy he treats his ex-wife and kids on national TV or internet to then turn around and get upset when content creators speak on it? Sad, sad, sad. Another person said Mattel can express his frustration all he wants. Documents don't lie, but we know he sure does. I love Richie and everything, but taking the video down feels a little suspect. We knew it was sensitive when it was covered. He could have just told you his side and did an interview or something. Now that is something I raised earlier. Of course he denies it. Who is flat out going to say they're an abuser? Also funny he would come out and defend himself but he didn't have the decency to defend his child and people speaking on her paternity and other nasty things he had said about her. He didn't address it one time. It's always about him and always has been. Mattel be gooping your man. He was even lying in his live yesterday. Miss me with it. Another person says you were reporting and not making any kind of accusations. I wonder if he reached out to the blogger who was trashing Melody while reading said document. He cares more about his own agenda. He doesn't want his reputation to take a hit, but it is okay with Melody's taking a hit. I'm very, very surprised you decided to take that video down. I still support you though. Another person said, once again, Mel is not protected. Very disappointed. Now, just to give this disclaimer, all of the comments are me reading the comments. They do not necessarily express any personal opinions of mine. I've expressed my opinion at the start. You guys know where I stand on it. But I wanted to share some of what was being shared in DJ Richie Sky's YouTube channel comment section. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to continue this conversation in the chat. So let's talk about it because I feel like you guys probably have a lot to talk about. Um, and I want to join in that conversation with you guys in the chat. So let me know what you guys think in the chat. Don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.